everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are you doing? I hope you are all well. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I clean my brushes using the Sigma Express Brush Cleaning Mat. I think that's right, yeah? This has some like suckers on the back of it. I don't know if that's a technical term for it. On the back of it and it just sits in your sink. I've had this now for a couple of months and I have loved to using it. I cannot rave enough about it. It saves me so much time, which is obviously its purpose. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Mine does have a couple of marks on it here and here, which for some reason the camera looks really strong, but like to my eye, I can barely see it. I'm not sure if they're marks on the back or on the front. <gasps> I think it's hair dye. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below as to where you can get this if you are interested in getting one. I'll pop some information in the description box for you. So feel free to read that if you wanna know anything else. But I have been using this for the last few months. I absolutely love it. It's kind of, I don't wanna say it's expensive, but it kind of is, I think it's around the 30 pound mark. Could be wrong though, but I got it for my birthday, so I didn't actually pay for it. So it basically has different ridges on it, if you can see. Um, so some of them are a lot bigger, like this one is my favorite one to use. It just makes it a lot easier to actually work the brush into something to actually get the dirt out from like the center of the brush like, especially if it's a liquid or a cream product they're really difficult to get out so and also in case you're wondering this is absolutely fine for synthetic or real hair brushes it does the exact same thing it's not going to damage them i really wanted to talk through what i was doing as you were seeing me do it yeah so i like to get together all of the brushes that i want to clean i never like to clean too many brushes at one time and also i never like to clean my brushes too often so at this point i already like to have my mat in the bottom of my sink and i place it so the plug sort of fills in this gap here that's just how it fits into the sink i then like to run the chat so it's a nice lukewarm temperature i fill my sink up the tiniest little bit just so i have something that i can rinse the brushes off with as i'm going along so i don't keep the tap running if that makes sense i then find that a liquid such as baby shampoo or normal shampoo for yourself works really well with the mat so i like to start off with the bigger face brushes and then work my way down towards like the eyeshadow brushes and eyeliner etc i probably spend 20 seconds maximum on each brush and then i like to swirl it around in the water to try and get as much of the shampoo off as possible then when that water gets really gross I basically get rid of it and replace it i make sure that all of the soap suds are completely gone I really gently squeeze out the excess water that is left in the brush and I put it to one side on a flat surface to dry overnight. And that is literally it. I completely repeat this step on every single brush. Some brushes obviously are less dirty than other ones, so some don't take a long time at all to do. beauty blender I did used to use olive oil which was really really good and it really cleaned it like I wouldn't say it was squeaky clean but it was very clean however you do have to do it quite a bit it doesn't smell very nice and it takes quite a long time to do and I personally know that I can't keep that up so for me I use quite a generous amount of baby shampoo I squeeze this into the palm of my hand I wet the beauty blender just basically rinse the shampoo through the beauty blender and also with the beauty blender it's really good to rinse it underneath the tap as the water is running so it can sort of wash away the excess soap that's in it because it's quite difficult to clean these i personally have never tried the beauty blender solid cleanser is that what it's called but i just find that baby shampoo works well for me i don't have to use two different things or buy two different products i just use the same for all of my brushes as you can tell, it is super quick, super easy. It's been an absolute lifesaver for me the last few months. I think if you're like me and you obviously wear makeup every single day, and maybe also if you're like myself and you're a makeup artist, it is such a lifesaver. I cannot even tell you. Definitely worth the investment. I'll link all the information down below about the Sigma brush mat if you would like to know where you can get them or know a little bit more information about that. So that'll be in the description box below. Also, don't forget that I'm doing a giveaway on the 8th of July, which is this Friday. I've already mentioned this in my last video so i don't want to go over it too much but, but basically if you didn't know 
know, on Friday the 8th of July at 6 p.m. GMT, I'm gonna be face swapping myself with three celebrities and all you have to do is tell me the three celebrities. First person to get it right wins the prize. Now the prize I can finally share with you on here. I've already shared it on my other social media but I can share it on here now because I actually have it. So I went and spent £30 at NYX or NYX, however you would like to say it. I asked you guys to let me know your favourite brands and majority of you said NYX. So I went to NYX. I picked up the NYX Highlight Contour Pro Palette. I have this myself and it's amazing. So I wanted to get something that I have actually personally tried as well. So that's that. I also picked up the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. This is great for underneath foundation or as a highlighter on its own. Then I also picked up the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Eclair, which is a really pigmented pink. So that's the prize. Only rules are you obviously have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel because this is a giveaway for my subscribers. You also just have to guess the three celebrities correct and that is it, it's as easy as that. I will also be in contact with you personally from my accounts, no other accounts, just to sort of put that out there. I doubt anything's gonna happen like that, but just to sort of say, um, it will definitely be from my account and I'll be in contact with you directly to obviously get your rest so I can send the products to you. And I'll also pop the winner in the description box of my next video because my next video is going to be filmed before the giveaway if that makes sense but it'll go up today after the giveaway it's all a bit confusing but it'll be there but i'll be in contact with you on friday all of my links to my social media are all in the description box below as always so feel free to follow me on any of that if you are also on there and would like to but i will see you very soon for another video where i announce the winner of the giveaway so good luck to everyone who has a go <laughs>